Suicide is a much bigger problem in the United States than you probably think. Well, tonight, Hillside Family of Agencies is hosting a forum they hope will save lives. Allison Norlean joins us live right now to tell us about it. Allison? Kevin, suicide is one of the leading causes of death in the United States, but it's 100% preventable. Tonight, folks are going to learn tips on how to spot a person who is having suicidal thoughts. And I'm here with Tony Hess. He is with Hillside Family of Agencies. And Tony, what are folks going to be learning here tonight? Tonight, we're going to be talking about a curriculum called QPR, Question, Persuade, Refer. And it's all about helping everyday people be able to ask the question if they think that someone is in distress. And that way, they can help connect someone who is in distress to the help that they really need. Why is it so important to do this? If people don't get connected to help, they're not going to be able to understand that help is possible. And it's important that everyday people do this because people don't always open up to professionals, but they're most likely to open up to someone that they know, a friend, a neighbor, colleague at work. Suicide's uh, it's, it's a, the, one of the leading causes of death in the United States, and I know you had some statistics that you wanted to tell us. Absolutely. The rate of suicide in adolescents, um, suicide is the second leading cause of death in adolescents and young adults. And we know that um, even... Um, more staggering is that in any two-week period one in 20 people experience thoughts of suicide mm -hmm. and if we can connect with those folks that are having thoughts and help get them to the care that they need we can prevent those deaths so for the future how can folks contact you about future forums absolutely we're happy to have people participate in this and other courses that we offer people can contact hillside family of agencies main number which is 585-256-7500 all right, thank you so much, Tony. We are going to have that phone number listed on our website, rochesterhomepage.net. For now, reporting live in Rochester, Allison Orleon, News 8. Thanks, Allison.